Good morning. I am the old mechanic. And what do we got here today in my shed? A 2016 BMW S1000R. And what a nice bike this is. Wow. 160 horsepower, all electronic things onto it. Today, I'm going to show you how to do your own maintenance on your own BMW S1000R. With my video, you can do it yourself. And that way, you are sure that it's done properly. How many times did you bring your bike to your dealer and they did maintenance onto it? All kinds of things. Go back to pick your bike up. You had to pay a lot of money. And on the way home, you think nothing has changed for a lot of money. And when you do it yourself, perhaps you don't feel any difference, but you're sure it's done properly. So, let's start. First we're gonna get the bike straight up to get the oil out. I have my winch, so for me it's an easy job. Come on over and I'm gonna show you. So, I'm gonna get the strap underneath this part of the frame. And that is easy, only there is a a wire over here so you have to be careful to be top of that wire yep so pop, pop. always place a towel on the tank so now have a final look if nothing's pinched nope now guys, we got it straight up. Now the first thing we're gonna do is get the, yeah what is it, spoiler, the bottom spoiler, get it off, that's easy. You need, okay, it's Torx 20. Wait a minute, already have a oil waste bin, now over here. Torques, uh, BMW, eh? the Torx guy. Okay. One. We go to the other side, do the same. Over here. Already got it on the other side. Another. <laughs> Don't drop it. Okay. And then there are these hoses. Hey, what? 
and those two hoses are into these two, yeah, what is it, okay. plastic bracket, yeah, let's call it a bracket, yep, now we got this one off, so, now guys, this is the oil drain plug, you need torque 50 and a wrench, First, we give it up, just crack it loose, quick. See the oil is already starting to drip, but a towel, cloth. Okay, hop. Okay. Here is the oil filter, and it's, I think. It's best to put something like this underneath it because otherwise everything is covered with oil. Now guys, we have this uh, tool and it says, let's see, BMW 21 millimeter. I have no, uh, that's... That's this one. Yeah, I got two. This for this. Let's see. Shouldn't be that. Now, try twenty one. No, you need something like this. Or. A proper wrench. I don't have 21. Okay, now we're gonna. No, no. <coughs> don't worry, it hangs on my winch. Yes. Pop, pop, pop. Guys, as you know by now, I always lean the bike from this side to the other side as an engine always has oil pockets and old oil collects in there. And I always want to get as much old oil out as possible. So let's do that. Luckily I have a winch, so I'm gonna show you. Over now, let's see. Pop, pop.
So guys, now the bike has been leaking out for a few days because I didn't got the parts. Um, now we're gonna see what was in the pockets. I was curious myself. Mm, this engine doesn't have good a lot of pockets or you can drain the oil very well, the usual way. But now let's see. It's still dripping a tiny bit because I just got a bike straight up. So. Now. This was the extra oil I got out, not a lot, but still old oil. To do an oil change on a BMW S1000R, we need an oil filter. I personally always use the high flow filter. Why? I have no idea. Never had a problem with it, fits good and it's not as expensive as the original BMW filter. And of course we need oil. I always use Kestrel Power RS 10W40 simply because it's a good oil. It's a premium oil. Never had a problem with it. Use it in my own GS use it in my son his uh, S1000R good oil for a reasonable price. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to clean it. That's easy. Now up. Give, yeah the bike wiggles a bit, it hangs on my uh, winch but don't worry then, now, looks good. Yes. We take the oil filter. Papa. Then we take just the motor oil. I'm gonna put in. Hop, hop, hop. Bit on that thread. Hop. So, and now, okay, the uh, oil filter needs to be torqued with 11 newton meters. So, this is 11. Okay. okay. Yes. And now it's always a, take this one. Wiggle it a bit and then it comes off. Yes! Okay. Check. Now, guys, I cleaned the oil drain plug. We have a new washer. That's aluminium, this is copper. Sure, it will do the job too. Hmm. No. We got it. This baby a good clean. Oh. Then. Up. 
the drain plug is Torx 50 and it needs to be torqued with 28 newton meters. So whoop, we got my torque wrench and I'm gonna set it to 28 newton meters. Let's see if I can over here. Yes. Okay, torqued. Oh, always screw it all the way back, then where the, the drag begins, and that's where you hang it for your wall of tools. Hop, torque, check. Now, according to BMW, you have to pour in three and a half liters of oil, get the bike running, then I would see if the oil comes back somewhere in the oil glass and then you have to get it on operating temperature and see where the oil levels. So let's do that. What I, what I always do is clean my funnel so I'm sure that it's super clean. Put a bit of paper into there. And then up. it's fully clean now. And then up. We're gonna pour in the first liter. Okay. This one carefully over there. Carefully, yeah. okay. That was the very first one. Hopefully, mm, no. Just hook it a bit like this. Okay. Then the second one. Oh, wait a minute. Like this. Okay, let's see. Is that a liter? Yeah. We're going to top it off anyway. Now. The same thing again. What? <laughs> That's number two. Whoop. Okay, let's, this is just over one liter, so careful, oh. this is the third one. Okay. Yep. 
Yes. Oops. Mm. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. No. I just noticed this is one liter and I filled it up to there. So we now need, let's say, 0.4. Oh, it's close. This one. Then. We're going to pour in. There, the oil has settled. Now we have to pour in a tiny bit more. Yep. 